Welcome to the Ignorance of Strength Podcast. I'm your host, Fabian Motherfucking Ojeda, and I don't know shit, but that's okay. All right, all right, let's get this shit started. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the Ignorance of Strength Podcast. Hope you all enjoyed our previous episode with Mr. Larry Hankin, part two, the return of that guy. Check out his book. Uh, should be out everywhere soon if it's not already. And he'll be on for a third time very, very soon. But I want to welcome back everybody's favorite dirty white boy, Whitey. Hey, hey. It's good to be back. Good to be back. <laughs> it's always a treat to be back. <laughs> I also want to welcome back somebody who's kind of proud to be an American, Mr. Potter. (laughs) What's up, guys? How's it going? What's he doing right now? Describe to everybody what Potter's doing right now. He's rubbing his chest Mm -hmm. with his hand. No, no, I'm sorry. My bad. I misinterpreted that. He's got his hand over his heart. I All thought right. he was playing with his nipple there for a second. I did too. I mean, that's a, a <laughs> very, very fine line between the two. Good well, at job, least Bobby. it was just his heart. All right. Now, and then also want to welcome back Mr. Sosa. Oh, you touched my Oh. Tell me a little bit about this song. Dude, that is a 2008 deployment song, man. Mr. Gunther, my ding ding dong. This is nothing but straight up Euro trash techno, and I love it. I think we all did. <laughs> yeah, when you brought that song back to us, I I think uh, I went on a on a Gunther fucking bender and just started listening to everything he did. <laughs> He's got some good ones, man. <laughs> anyway, especially hey, the one dude. where he talks about bananas, melonas. Yes, it's a hot, hot summer night. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back. What, what do you guys? What, what do you guys been up to? Why? Why do we know you've been uh, the uh, the the star of of the of the podcast game uh, lately, right? Yeah, I've just been you know like turning down offers left and right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've 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 been good, like just hanging out, uh, doing a lot of work lately. A lot more marijuana work for the marijuana industry. <laughs> and then uh, we got Potter. Are, are, are you still like proud to be an American over there in, in, in Texas and shitting out Whataburgers and fucking all that stuff? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm still proud to be American. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man, just fucking living a great life over here, man. Uh, we did have a crazy storm blow by yesterday at the tornado ro- warnings i think i saw your 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 uh, your family's prayers online yeah my mom posted something online <laughs> <laughs> i was like you look scared potter yeah she wanted a picture i got her picture Whatever. well you, you put on a good scared face there all right were you were you, were you scared <laughs> of the immigrants or the tornado just i want to clarify it was for the tornado so so ah got it tornado thank you i had to clarify <laughs> and then uh you know uh, what, what 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 have we been up to over on the uh on the sosa side over there i'm uh, meaning uh south of the border south of the border <laughs> <laughs> well still 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 trying to cross the la frontera uh-huh. but isaac's there with this fucking gun like cartman in that fucking border patrol episode mm-hmm. you got uh, mexicans so- <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to cross my kid over, you know, he's five months old, but got to get that citizenship. What uh, did did you guys now? Uh, I think it's been a few weeks since I since I sent it. But did you guys like that cartoon that I uh, I made about this this episode? Yes. Shit show the 13th. Loved it. I'm really digging these cartoons. Like, I'm so I'm so happy we're cartoons now. I do, too. I, I think I look a little Middle Eastern, though. But I then thought again, it was spot on. <laughs> pretty accurate. Yeah, I guess we're just trying to say, like, you look pretty Middle Eastern these days. N- now you well, do, yeah. 
<laughs> well, I did get randomly selected at the airport the other day, so I guess that makes sense, huh? Oh, yeah, man. You, you should change your name to Rafash. <laughs> Rafash. <laughs> right. Um, but no, yeah, I, 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 bro. I had fun making that because the first one I made uh, was for, for the Tommy Chong interview. I was like, fuck, we need to have something you know, cool and something kind of funny to put up there because we were going to... It's the first time we put the video up, right, for an episode. Um, mm -hmm. And and uh, I don't do... Like, for this one, we're just going to have the audio, you know, so I don't do the, the video thing too often, but I was like, no, nah, people are going to need to see it, you know, because I, I don't know. There's just something about it. People like to listen and watch, and, you know, um, I think it was good, though. I got a lot of feedback. Did you guys uh, get to listen to that at all? I listened to Tommy's uh, episode. And uh, salute your shorts. Well, what'd you think? <laughs> uh, some interesting stories there about Tommy. I didn't know that you know he was uh, from Canada and he tried uh, opening up all those different uh, like nightclubs. Were they? Is yeah, that what they were. They were like, like uh, they were like, like strip clubs. They were three, strip clubs that he turned night into nightclubs night before he finally turned into like a. <laughs> they called them dinner theater. Dinner theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Man, three fucking times, man, to get closed down, man. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, big he crowds. He kept going, though. I mean, so props, props to him, man. Yeah, that was uh, really neat to fucking sit down with him and, and talk about all that stuff with the, especially his early music career, like, because a lot of people don't really know that this dude was in, like, a bunch of blues music stuff, into a bunch of blues music stuff uh, back in, like, the 60s, early 60s. So pre Cheech and Chong, like you see pictures of him and he doesn't even have facial hair or anything. It's, it's crazy. He's a young dude. Dude, I don't think I could imagine him without facial hair. And then like, he's telling us stories about like his, his, like, uh, his, what is it? His mom's guitar. <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's yeah. right back here, you know? <laughs> and so, and then he's showing us his like white supremacist tattoo. Oh yeah. He showed us his white supremacist tattoo. I didn't, I didn't see the video. <laughs> what was so it? If, and where did he get it? So it's like an eagle with some stars around it, and it's what's it's on his arm, right? Uh -huh. Like on his like shoulder, or like no, like on his bicep area on the outside, yeah. like like you know, like oh. an old like sailor tattoo, you know? Oh shit! <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's pretty big, like the and he's and when he, I guess he was talking about going to prison and things like that, and I guess he was all right, you know, he was uh, if it's not white, it's not right, and I, you know, it was perfectly white, even though he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he like half Mongolian or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's Indian. He's like or, he's, native. He's, he's no, yeah, that's what it is. He's Inuit. I think. Yeah. So like, he's like that, part Inuit. Okay. He, yeah. That and yeah, like, well, he always says Chinese. So I guess Mongolian, Chinese. And then like, you know, um, a mixed mud of things like Whitey, like Irish and, <laughs> and things like that. Right. But yeah, I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, I, I had a nice little streak there with then we had a uh, Mike, Mike Bauer, a.k.a. Donkey Lips, and then uh, the, the return of Larry Hankin. So I, I'm not going to need you guys pretty soon. You know, there people are going to be wanting actual credible celebrities. So. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the I, last one. I think we're phased out. Honestly, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, you can uh, always the start the, the India podcast. <laughs> I like the Hank, the last Get Hankin interview. on board. Like that last Hankin interview, dude. Um, <laughs> he was talking about how he fucking doesn't get along with Sandler or a lot of people. <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't like Adam Sandler at all. Man, you or got the, him to spill these beans, huh? Or the people on Friends. His friends suck. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I, I, told I, still them can't watch, I still can't watch Friends, man. But I, I'll watch his clips, though. Potter, did you watch Friends growing up? I kind of feel like you did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't like actively seek it out, but if it's on, I'll I guess I'll watch it. Which one were you? On. The, which guy were you? I know everybody like they watch the show and they're like, "I'm Chandler," right? Which one were you, Potter? I, I, <laughs> I don't even know their names. No idea. Wait, uh, did Sosa? So did you watch Friends? I thought you did. Ah, uh, dude, that no, no, you watched Amigos. That's right. <laughs> Amistades, right? <laughs> no, I I watched the uh, El Chavo del Ocho. There you go. Yeah, that's that. that, that, that. I remember that. 
Uh huh. Whitey, do you know you know what that is, right? What 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 did he say? You don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know the little the 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 Mexican guy that lived in a trash can. Was it the dude with the? He's got like uh, antennas or whatever. Like, uh... yeah, red suit. Yeah, red Converse. Yep. Know who you're yep. talking about? Yeah, that was, was a lot of pan- th- those were a lot of pantomimes. So I was able to w- actually watch that because you didn't really. I mean, it's not hard to figure out what they're saying, you know, if they do say anything. I don't think I ever watched that, but I've seen it. Well, what is it? Chopping? Like chopping? Is that like uh, I know that I've seen the character, but never, never watched Esperito. the show. Yeah. Uh, all right. Why? Why he's got some Elmani in him? All right. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, like no, I was watching that. Like I fucking got on a pantomime fucking kick. I started watching Mr. Bean, and then you start uh, watching other shit. Yeah, Sorry. I can't watch that shit. That guy's face always disgusted me. Like I, I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> I, you're not the only person that I fucking heard that from. Mm-hmm. There's somebody else I know fucking hates Mr. Bean. Like just looking at him or whatever. And I'm like, what do you, what do you mean you just hate him looking at? Him? I can't watch him or whatever. Like because he looks funny or like. But speaking of faces, like I can't take my eyes off my avatar right now. So. We're not going to post the video, but like just watching myself in Zoom right now as an avatar, like I made myself look like a, like a sexy guy, right? Like, That's funny. And, and why do he looks like himself, but it's, you know, it's distracting. So I actually turned mine off. Like it says hide self view. Oh, really? Like, I, I got to try that. Yeah. yeah Cause you just end up like seeing your stupid avatar and trying to move your mouth at the same time or whatever. It doesn't work. You get distracted. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm a virtual me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing right now. Look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my me my fucking avatar i mean shit man it's like a model of good looks here i got the like, fresh cut nice beard like the fucking the shirt we, we were all, all trying down. to make ourselves before the podcast started by the way <laughs> but um i wanted to jump into something and this is a, a segment that whitey wanted to bring to the uh to the podcast um and we'll eventually have you know a nice little like theme music for it uh but he has this concept called Potter's people. Potter's people. Potter's people. Yeah. Oh, what the geez. fuck is Potter's people? Boy? Pray tell. They're, they're they're people that are like minded like Potter, right? Oh Lord. And people actually- that we can people that we can consider possibly possibly Potter's followers. If Potter's if he had followers, like- they would they would be Potter like, and they would be Potter's followers. That technically uh-huh. they're Potter's people. Oh Lord. Potter's people. And so I have a video I'd like to share with you all that is one of Potter's people, right? And, uh, you know, every now and then we'll add to Potter's people. And uh, let's just <laughs> let's take let's take a look. This is a commercial. And, um, send, sh- and send Fabian a DM if you want to see Potter's people shirts, by the way. I, I'm, I'm going to share um, a, a commercial from what's called Gary's mattress. I don't know if you've all ever seen it before. I've never seen Gary's mattress before. What oh, let me, you fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Hold on. Let me share that again. <laughs> oh man. This is... All right. Let's see. <laughs> this is going to be great. I love this. Oh, oh man. Okay. So, <laughs> So here's uh, here's Gary's mattress. Uh, let's watch that real quick. Hi, I'm Gary at the one and only Gary's mattress. Now with locations in Koreatown and Little Tokyo. We are karate are chopping the place. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cho- Even we would buy it. <laughs> at Gary's mattress, we're blowing up places. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, horse. Shit. Bring good <laughs> for treatment at Gary's mattress. I'd be very surprised. We're scalping. Oh, I no. <laughs> oh. If you find a mattress at a better price, I'll kick a puppy and punch a kitten just for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if old Gary from uh, Van Ops. <laughs> There. I thought this was gonna be in like the East. I didn't realize it was from Van Nuys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We have to this place. Oh my god! All right. So in order for us to, you know, <laughs> um, to to ratify that and oh. to add him to the list of Potter's people, we need a unanimous decision. Um, well, 
Majority decision. We don't need majority. Fuck the majority. majority. <laughs> <laughs> I know two of so, these motherfuckers would put them on just for fucking spite. <laughs> so I just want to, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask just, uh, all of us real quick to see if, um, if we're, if, if, if this is a Potter's person or not. So I'll start with Whitey. Yes or no. Is this, is this, is this, does this, does this, uh, should we add this to the list of Potter's people? I mean, I would say this is a potential candidate for a Potter's person if there were Potter's people. But I need a yes or a no. I would say yes. Yes, this would be a, definitely a ding ding on the uh, the Potter's people. Sosa. Well, you know, I was kind of torn there for a second, I, I but then I remember when I <laughs> when I helped Potter move to Texas and I was packing up his his van. I uh-huh. realized that there was a bunch of Gary's mattresses on there on the moving bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, too. Uh, pa- Potter, you have the third vote. <laughs> that could fucking matter. You're the fourth <laughs> vote. <laughs> what do you think, yeah. Potter? Hey, well, you don't know what I'm going to say. Go, oh, Potter, yeah, you're... for sure. I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> What's nah. your vote, Potter? Th- this might be favorable towards you, Potter. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, this is going to be the segment everybody's going to want to hear again. <laughs> now, listen, yeah, Fabian, I fucking send you these like really funny fucking videos. Throughout oh, we'll the talk about that right now. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you come back. And uh, <laughs> I got down a I just need a yes or no. Is this one of no. <laughs> no. All right. Well, I'm going to go <laughs> ahead. I- I'm going to go ahead and-, and say this is the inaugural Potter's person. So fuck and, go, oh. and go ahead and add gaslighting Potter to the the description of the episode. <laughs> now let's let's talk about those those funny things you send us, Potter, and me specifically. And let me tell well, you right now, Whitey's not on Instagram, and Sosa's like this ghost on there. Well, let me tell you right I'm, now, Potter. I'm I, I'm I'm quite uh, taken back by some of the things you've sent. Now, not just you know the 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 transsexual. Um, Z Z titted prosthetic uh, teachers. That's that's you know whatever. I get it. You have a sense of humor. We have a sense of humor. I want you to. I want you to answer something. And and, and I don't. And 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 I'm not ac- accusing by any sense. Do you consider yourself to be unbiased, Potter? And uh, in, 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 in general, unbiased. I mean, I try to think it through first before I have an idea. So I'm leaning more towards yes, unbiased. Okay. Now, would you consider yourself racist? No. Okay. Every single morning, every single morning, I wake up to a video, a post of some black person, some unfortunate black person making a fool of themselves, either being ridiculed or, or, or you know, being <laughs> exposed or... <laughs> being laughed at or tormented or beaten up or beating somebody up. Do you understand what you're doing there, Potter? I'm sometimes embarrassed to open it and open my phone in public. (laughs) All right. Don't look at the last one. then. I I knew it. (laughs) I knew it. I was like, I I have some unviewed messages from Potter right now. You made Fabian uncomfortable. Jesus Christ. (laughs) god damn it oh let, let me watch this real quick let you know what i'm looking at i am looking at the most gigantic ass, asses i've ever seen all right i'm t- oh my goodness <laughs> i wish i could share this with you but it's on instagram I'm, uh oh my god I, it looks like <laughs> elephantitis of the fucking butt um <laughs> It was three large black women in the, these aren't even oh. G strings. These are G ropes. All right? G ropes. Oh man. What oh, is man. wrong with you, Potter? <laughs> hey, I, I didn't go out of my way to go out and find them in the world. You think, you know, oh. uh, the, the more you send these, the more it paints the picture very clearly. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, in Potter's I, defense, he, he was bumping Sir Mix a lot back in high school. So, oh, I know. Like that's why uh, it, my new phrase for Potter is 
let's let's see that Google search, Potter. Let's ah. see that Google search. Because what do you think is on there? Big booty black bitches. <laughs> no. How to hide a body. <laughs> Gary's mattress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and watch Sorry. watch watch tomorrow. They're all clean videos. Now they're all be Christian uh country country songs and shit. I mean, I've sent you stuff from like South Park and just fucking Latino comedians. You know, not that many, but <laughs> just one. stuff that's funny. <laughs> Al Bundy, a lot of Al Bundy. Oh, yeah. And I, I've already seen all those. I, I, I appreciate those and the wrestling stuff. It's usually a bunch of wrestling stuff or old 90s sitcoms and whatnot. But, you know, maybe two or three, 20 times a day. It's uh, a <laughs> unfortunate black people. Making fools of themselves, and you know, I, I I don't know how I feel about that, Potter. What do you, what do you, what do you have to say? I think the next Potter's people is going to have to be of color. <sighs> Potter's people of color. Hmm. That's another shirt. Remember, DM Fabian if you want a shirt. I'll, I'm not going to send you shit. First of all, <laughs> all right. That, that's 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 enough picking on Potter. There, I can. <sighs> That's it for gaslighting Potter this episode. <laughs> Damn, I think that was that one was a bit much. Um, even though what you know, fucker, you sent me the one with the when the cheese on the Big Mac doesn't melt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sending you what I think. You know, no, just send me what's what you think is funny, and and that's it. That's all. That's all it is. I, I will continue receiving your your biased videos, Potter. I, I just for research, for research purposes. All right, Fabian. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know that I didn't send any of these offensive texts, and and, and I still haven't got paid for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I too would like to uh, uh, state that I have not received any racist text, and uh, clearly, clearly, just humbug about all this. <laughs> he's like i wash my hands and walk away from this so, mess <laughs> either way, this, is, this is the last one this is either i'm gonna get a bunch of uh new celebrity guests or you guys are just gonna quit from pure like harassment and fear <laughs> it's okay isaac you you, you live in texas is it, oh, is it weird that it's so much worse to me now that it's in van nuys in the korea town they're talking about is like our korea town <laughs> yeah well he hit like it doesn't fucking matter where it's at, dude. <laughs> you know it was a real ad. It's really fucked up. It's just it like I don't know, like like some sort of adult swims. Like when I hit. when I hear stories in Florida and stuff, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't really surprise me or whatever. But I mean, <laughs> who aired that? You know, is that, is that a joke? Like I gotta know now. Uh, well, well, I'm I'm just offended that he hit every single like you know. Uh, people except, <laughs> it's except, it's except us, but he even offended animals. I mean, he's like, Oh, kill a kitten, or what did he say, punch a kitten, or something like that, kick a dog, like a puppy, or something like that. <laughs> I want to like, buy a mattress from I want to buy a mattress from that guy, you know, why because he's so confident in what he's doing. Like, his mattresses must be badass, you know, you're just gonna go there and he's just gonna be fucking everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you want to buy a mattress? It's like you. knocking people out and then throwing a mattress in your truck. Uh, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. <clears throat> now, I want to open it up like we usually do. <laughs> what are some uh, What are some wacky little out there current affairs y'all want to throw out? There's so much these days. We, we, like I said, we always go through like a whole little like uh, you know few months spell in between, right? Um, I got some stuff, but I'm gonna save it uh, to see if anybody wants to. Throw any out anything out there to open us up a little bit here. I'm gonna let Whitey or uh, Sosa go first. I think that was just passing the buck there. <laughs> All right, Potter, hit totally- us with it. it is, you got to save yourself, Potter. Potter brings up good topics, though. I got to give him that. Hey, this is what it is. People, people actually like the dynamic that we have, uh, Potter. You've gotten some praise and some not so praise. A uh, lot but, of hate mail, like a, a lot. Of- lot. Love hate. Oh. I heard. I heard you mention that somebody said I should have formulate some better ideas. But you <laughs> motherfuckers don't take me serious enough. Even if I put a really good argument out there, you guys just fucking shit talk me and bring me down. 
what are you talking about? I've been nothing but supportive of your ideas. No, I think he's Hence reading the first podcast. page of his manifesto. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. My bad. <laughs> God damn. All right, buddy. You know some... what? From now on, I don't want to be on some... your list anymore. I'm going to support everything you say. <laughs> Is that some Remington oil on the first page? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you guys. Fucking piece of work, man. <laughs> He sounds like a rated PG Cartman. I can't damn it, you guys. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> All right, Fabian, what do you want to talk about? What All right, current, so what, listen. What current things you got? Now, you know, I explain all the time to people, and this one really kind of piqued my interest because I sent it in a group message. I said, don't let me forget to talk about this shit, right? And I don't care. Cancel me. I don't think I have enough people that give a damn to cancel us. Uh, but... You know, and this isn't a, this isn't a, I'm not expressing any thoughts other than my own, not, nobody I'm affiliated or work with, but God damn, did you guys uh, get that text where I'm talking about, you know, and, and you guys have kids in school, man. And, 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 and they're, you know, I understand being tolerant. I understand being accepting and things like that. Right. But there's like clubs out there for kids that are three, four years old, transitional Ooh, kinder, transitional yeah. kinder. Right, where they're these are uh, five year olds, five year olds. Oh, earlier than that, yeah, as early as TK, where they're allowed to go to what they call these rainbow clubs, right? At LAUSD schools, um, and they don't need parent permission, you know. Um, from what I understand, from what I was told, and from what I heard, um, they don't need any sort of consent or parent permission slip or anything like that. If they want to participate in what they call these rainbow clubs, um, they're just free to do so. And now, look, I'm not saying, you know, it's no, no sort of hate or anything. It's no sort of, you know, um, nobody, anybody's wrong. But I do think that parents should have a choice to put things in context, right? And, and, and really, you know, raise their kids the way they're going to raise them. I don't think that they should be exposing them to ideas of romantic or sexual preferences at age three or four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing for me is like, there's got to be like an age limit or something like that. Like where you can start talking about things or whatever, because you're still developing, you know, like you don't want to, it's the same way. I wouldn't push something on, on uh, if I had a kid, you know, on the kid you're you're just molding them you know like and you're you want them to be as free as possible let them make their own decisions i feel like at a certain point they're just this isn't like opening people's minds or anything like whitey was saying it's more of like indoctrination at a very early age and uh, I, I don't know how it feel i know how i feel about that i don't think it's right like i'm not bashing on gay rights or anything you know but that's kind of ridiculous you know I think the the really big problem is that, like Fabian said, like the the parents don't have to know. I think that's the most fucked up part right there. I mean, I don't have kids, but you know, I wouldn't want them to just learn that from a teacher. You know, I don't know what they're um, if if they're just you know being uh, objective or if they're you know pushing anything on them. You know, like, yeah, I think that like, like, dude, as a parent, I wouldn't want my kid doing anything without my knowledge. Like what? If, what if like okay, you're let let's take the opposite of you know approach to it. If there was somebody preaching about like uh like some type of religion, you know, mm -hmm. freaking Jehovah's Witness, Mormons, Christians, what's Church of Satan, whatever, you know, I wouldn't want my kid to be in that club unless I knew about it. Mm -hmm. And that's just it doesn't matter. I, I want to know what's going on. I then you embrace bullshit. it and dress up like Satan and go to the the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think the thing that i heard is that well students have rights right and so that's how they're going about that um it's a student's rights thing where it's like well shit man if i'm a parent i'm thinking like my kid doesn't have any fucking rights like you know my what what my kids rights are what i tell them their rights are right yeah no nah, man i'm not down with that if i if i heard about that at my son's school i'd be I'd be very fucking upset. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and it's tough too. Cause like, you know, being in education, like 
again, like I want to be as supportive as possible, but they're think they're asking you to like, you know, relearn like everything, you know, and, and things that we used to think because we're learning as we go, you know, even as people, just regular everyday people, we're kind of, we're just learning as we go. Right. Um, so it's like, how do, how do you even say certain things? Right. Uh, apparently, you know, certain phrases that we used to use are now uh, considered offensive. Right. You, you can't say things like, oh, that's the gender that you identify as. I thought that was polite. Why did that uh, change? What are they changing it to? It's not the gender that you identify as. It's just the, the, the gender that you are. And, and, you know, that's that's the thing. I'm just like, OK, it's all semantics. Look, you know, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm like, fuck, like, how am I supposed to catch up with that? You know, like, do we need to train on this every other month to learn these things? You yeah, know what you, I'm you, you don't. It's all a fucking hamster wheel. They're just going to keep working. you until mm-hmm. you fuck up and you get fired or whatever. That's objective, you know. Mm-hmm. And one of the one of the things I heard that was most ridiculous was like, oh, well, you know, um, the way we explain it is that when you were born, um, you know, it's not necessarily the, you know, the your gender is not necessarily right. That's just what the doctor said you are. Um, wow. You could be one of these other uh, 20, 30, 40 things. Listen, man, we're just going to bring it back to the simple. You have an XY chromosome, you're a boy. If you have an XX, you're a girl. That's fucking yeah. it. And, you know, I've always made the argument. Look, I, I understand there are gen- genetic, uh, genetic, you know, variables where it's like maybe you have like an XXO, right? Or, or an extra an extra Y, right? Or, 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 mm-hmm. or XXY or something like that. But those people typically have like some sort of like, you know, mental – uh, deficiency or some sort of like physical, you know, uh, uh, like handicap of some sort, right? Yeah, man. I don't know, man. This is, this is so, such a new world and stuff. And like, I'm trying my best to, you know, to do and say all the right things. But I'm like, man, we're we're always just kind of playing catch up, you know? It's so. too much, <clears throat> honestly. It, it's not like I'm a bigot. I mean, they could. I mean, in a couple of years, they'll probably try to paint me as one. You know, you you fucking bigot. Give me a fucking break here. I would like to say I think I think South Park has covered a lot of these types of uh, incidences and episodes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, it's a couple of years years back they they covered sh- shit like this and it's it's fucking hilarious to see or ironic that uh, it's, it's it's coming to fruition. I it's know really happening. Yeah, that's that's the crazy part, man. Um, <clears throat> but. You know, I, I, again, I just I, I want to put the little disclaimer out there. Like, we're not we're not hating or nothing. We're just, you know, uh, it just it, it it's something that was on my mind just because I'm like, damn, you know, like everything is just even just words. Right. You you know, if, if, if you misgender someone or something like that, you could be at risk of getting fired. You know, um, I, I just you know, it's like it's 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 treading very, uh, you know, thin ice at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, why do you prefer to be called ma'am or madam or like, which is it? I prefer if I offend somebody by calling them something or whatever, they tell me like, hey, like, I don't want to be called that. And then I don't call them that again. You know, like, uh-huh. I think that's how it should be. Don't fucking tell me anything else. Like, I, it's, it's fucking hard. We've, we're almost 40 years old. You know, we've been doing things one way for so long. We're, we're going to slip up once in a while. <laughs> it's like uh oh my god i had a great grandma and she would just say these terribly like racist things and it was like she was married to a, like it was mixed race you know mm-hmm. but the way they were raised and stuff back then or whatever like it, it's not like it was now you know so those things were very offensive at least we can understand why things are offensive you know like we're not just going to stick to our guns and like forget about certain things you know I still have a problem with they though, <laughs> you know, so I, uh, I'm a grammar snob, you know, and uh, how do we even use it? You know, so like the whole, I see, why do you put your pronouns on zoom saying they, right? So I'll refer to you as they. <laughs> like if we're saying like, why do you sitting at the table? We say they is sitting at the table or they are sitting at the table. Like, which it, is correct. They are, has sat at the table. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But <laughs> if like we, if like we see Whitey playing with the dildo, right? Do we say? Uh, and and I think we saw that earlier, right? Like, if you want to pop that back up on the screen, Whitey. <laughs> goes, there it goes. <laughs> um, it makes but, him laugh every time. Here, I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do we say that you know they pulled out a, a gigantic dildo um or they is playing with the dildo or they are playing with the dildo which which is it i think it would be they are or they have or yeah are am I, for, where they yeah. pulled out they <laughs> giant dildo like i i don't know man that's my biggest worry is the grammar part because i am a grammar snob now with the schools thing, right, this kind of got me thinking, like, I used to think, like, people that, you know, like, oh, we're just going to homeschool or whatever. I'm like, ah, you're a fucking crazy, right? I'm like, what's what's the whole, like, you know, what, what are you going to teach them at home that, you know, that they would learn in school? They're going to be fucking idiots, right? Well, I don't know, man. Like, you know, I, I kind of see the concern from some parents now and, and why it would kind of make sense to them. Do you What do you think about, like, the idea of, like, even just, like, like homeschooling or doing something like that. Dude, if I had the fucking time, I I would consider possibly doing it. Kind of doing it right now. We're doing uh, some Kumon classes and that shit right now at, at her stage is just a whole bunch of like... That's cool. So how much has she taught you already? It's a lot of work on, on me because I got to like fucking sit there with her and be like, what's this work? What's this letter? Yeah, she's like, she's, she's like, she's like, I've already told you 50 at, times at, at this point, you know, later <laughs> on, you're going to learn. It's, it's, it's going to be like watching her, like her read or like write out like a paragraph or something like that when she gets further down the line. So it's just, it's very trying right now. What uh, grade like do you, if she gave you a grade right now, Potter, <laughs> like if, she gave me a grade, what grade do you think you would her. get? Yeah. For teaching her. Like what grade do you think? Like she would say, daddy gave. I, I give you this and not because she loves you either. Like just because like, she's really thought that you performed this, this higher level. Star. An unbiased opinion. I, I don't, she, I don't know. Like a, she'd give me like a star or something like that. I, I think a, a letter concept great grading is, is unknown to her at, at this stage in life. We'll have to ask Macy to ask her in private. She's going to, so we get like, the real answer. <laughs> she's going to be like, Daddy, you finally learned nouns. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Those classes are really paying off, Potter. Uh, what about Sosa? What do you, what do you think, okay. man? The whole homeschooling thing, parents that are that are choosing to do that. I don't blame them whatsoever. Um, it, it's just, you know, and like you said, Fabian, like back in the day, you know, we used to see those kids as fucking weirdos. Like, what the hell, man? Those those parents are overly religious, right? They, they, they go to church every Sunday. They, they go to church on Wednesday, Thursday, and they're always putting money in the bread basket. But like, I'm not religious at all. I'm not conservative. I'm not, I don't hold those views, mm -hmm. but I, I can't blame them for wanting to keep their kids at home. Now it's, it's getting the pen. The pendulum has swung too far left. I feel. Mm hmm. Like we overcorrected as a society, as we always do, and it's you know, you know you're 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 alienating people in the middle, moderates like me. I'm just and, like and, no, yeah, that doesn't make sense. And it's not just that stuff that we mentioned, dude, too, but like even like the behavior stuff, right? Like, dude, okay, did you know that like there's no tools anymore to, uh, you know, to have any sort of like discipline or or anything like that when it comes to behavior most schools don't do referrals or suspensions anymore. So fuck. Yeah. And you, and you wonder why sometimes all these kids are on the fucking YouTube and TikTok and shit, like, you know, uh, filming shit in class. They shouldn't be doing and stuff like that. Right. Cause you know, all they're going to get is a conversation. Wow. No consequences. Oh no, yeah. there's no consequence. We can't even call it a consequence. Can't call it discipline. You got, you got to call it like restorative and stuff like that. You got to, you know, have circles <clears throat> and talk your feelings out. And look, okay. ideally, that works. I get the theories behind it. I get all the, you know, fucking, uh, you know, all the banter behind that and, and, and all the research and everything. How many of those researchers have dealt with, like, ghetto kids like us and where we grew up that fucking talked back and were yeah. very smart at fucking with you? 
that's exactly what I'm getting at, man, is that most of this research is done, you know, in middle class white America, you know, where, where things are a little bit more ideal. Right. And, and you have two parents. Right. And you don't have as much trauma as you see in, in you know, neighborhoods with, you know, uh, minorities and, and people that have, you know, experienced some of the things we've experienced. Right. Um, where if they're told something, they'll just follow it. Right. Or it'll just mm-hmm. be a little more. It won't be. A, it won't be anything like super, like fuck you or violent or anything like that. It'll just maybe be a little bratty, right? And so they're taught, you know, more. And some of them have like therapists and shit like that, you know, and they can afford that kind of stuff, you know. So in our situations, that shit doesn't work. Are you, you fucking know, can, kidding me? Right, dude. And that's they wonder why, like, you know, oh, you can't find any good educators, you can't find any good teachers because you're fucking handcuffing them. Right. You're yeah. taking all their tools away and you're giving all the power back to the kids and they figure that shit out. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. and uh, ac- is- academically, what are the, the consequences for for these kids uh, right now? So, um, they're, they're just constantly on their phone, just ain't fucking doing that. Let's talk to you later, teacher. Well, do all these all the kids with COVID, didn't they miss a year of education, Fabian? They did. A lot of them didn't even show up. The fucking numbers for like actual attendance were abysmal, right? And if you notice coming back from COVID though, like a lot of schools got shut down, right? Because they just stopped showing up altogether. You know, um, school like in, in where we grew up in Almani, you know, fucking they closed down what like four schools? They shut down both of the fucking middle schools and made yeah, you know a lot a lot of the elementaries K eights, you know. It's what did they do with uh, uh, crayons anyway? They sold the property. I don't know what what became of it, but it's no longer you know, like going to be homes or something. Huh. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I haven't I haven't driven by there. I haven't heard anything. But haunted dude, homes. How, it, so, so the so the teacher just like has to keep advancing them forward. They can't like hold them back or anything like that. You can't even threaten them with threaten them with that. Expulsion. You don't call anything detention anymore. Um, you can't do suspensions. You can't do referrals. Uh, what about the campus cop who makes himself look all tough? Uh, well, that's. I mean, we we had we we had Jack. I mean, he didn't do much anyway. But uh, yeah, they don't really have those at many schools either. Like I remember working on a campus. I mean, I was part of a charter school that shared the campus with the school. But I remember being on campus, and they had a whole fucking police department on campus, right? I'm talking wow. about they parked like their, like their fucking thirty overpriced uh, SUVs in the parking lot. Could never find a fucking parking space. Um, mm. But they had like thirty cops on on campus. If there was like, and and this didn't do shit, right? Because I would walk into campus and there would be like uh, literally like fifty, sixty kids just hanging out outside during school hours, like it was lunchtime, you know. <laughs> Like they were just nobody told them shit. Nobody told them to go to class. You know, they just let them do their thing. You know, and and I I I, I guarantee you, about half of them were probably smoking weed or drinking or fucking somewhere. You know, so it's like it's the wild west now, man. Like that's that's it's 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 really in a in a sad fucking state. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know who votes for these policies. You know, like who in their right mind still thinks that this this is working? Mm. Like. You know, like decriminalizing uh, like theft and what you're seeing, the, the rampant shit that's going on up north in like Oakland and San Francisco where, you know, people go into CVS or Target and steal less than a thousand bucks and it's like a ticket. Yeah. Like who is still voting for this thinking this? Yeah, this is the, no, no, no. Just give it another year. This is going to work. And they fill their fucking backpacks up with shit. Oh, they're, they don't even care anymore, dude. They're all nonchalant about it. They'll walk in, take whatever the fuck they want, walk right out. Nobody stops them, right? This, so you're right. It's not even just the schools. Policy. Oh, they, oh. They've changed policies. It, it, yeah, so it, you can't stop anybody on the way out of like Walgreens. Yeah, if, the security yeah. guard, if the security guard even attempts to try to stop them and a confrontation it, ensues, more often than not, they get reprimanded or fired. That's, and, and possibly they don't arrested. Because they don't want the, the worker to sue the company. At the end okay, of the but, day, but, here, but, but, yeah, but on some of these people, they're literally the security guard for the store. I mean, I feel like that, that should almost be like 
part of their job description to be to be doing what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you have a security guard for? Yeah, I get that. Like if if they didn't want this, like if, if there was no security guard, then then yeah, maybe like the cashier shouldn't be trying to like hold up a fight with somebody running but, out with some shit. But what, that, what that we're I can see right okay. Now, what we're talking about right now is like symptoms. What's the root cause of this all? It's a policy that somebody implemented that said, hey, we're no longer prosecuting people that steal below this amount of money. Who yeah. was that person that made that, that call, right? Yeah. Who was the person that implemented that policy and why hasn't it been revoked yet? Like, it, obviously, the policy isn't working. Is it a pride thing that you think like, oh, well, I can't look like I'm wrong, so I'm going to just keep this policy going? Or is it something more nefarious like, hey, man, you know what? I kind of want to see the downfall of society here and uh, fuck it. I'm going to let these people suffer. I don't know, man. Look, and, and it, it, it's kind of like we're just letting everything go, right? I talked about the schools. We talked about, you know, the, the, the fucking robbery, burglary, whatever you want to call it. Um, and also, you know, like the fucking drugs. We're just giving out paraphernalia, <laughs> right? We're like just saying, okay, do drugs. But if you're going to do drugs, use our shit so you're clean, right? None of this shit would fly, you know, in like when we were growing up. And, and it seems like, again, it's just the Wild West. Anything goes. Now, I think, in my opinion, this is, you know, we're getting fucking, you know, Mr. Politician, uh, do good for, 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 for the colored folk, you know, trying to represent us and speak for us, right? And saying, like, for example, in schools and, in, and, and with jails and, and, cr- and crimes and things like that, right? They would say, oh, well, you know, the majority of the people getting, you know, let's say school specifically, right? The majority of the kids getting suspended and expelled are children of color. We need to do something about that. We can't be racist, right? But I mean, if you look at the fucking demographics, <laughs> the majority of the kids in the school are children of color, right? So like, of course, they're the ones that are going to get, you know, suspended and expelled and whatnot. The, the argument with that is that it was being done you know, um, to target them. Right. But it's like, if, if you're made up of like fucking 80, 90%, you know, uh, uh, minority kids, then guess what? (laughs) You know, 80, 90% of the kids that you suspend and expel are probably going to be minorities as well. And so I think the same thing goes with crimes, right? They're saying, you know, like, Oh, well, you know, we're disproportionately, you know, uh, uh, incarcerating, you know, black folk, brown folk, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I know we're still minorities and whatnot, but I mean, if you look at cities like, uh, like ma- major cities like LA, right? I don't. I don't think we're the minority anymore, right? If we, if we, if we uh, add up all of the brown people, all the black people, right? I mean, it's got to be at least even, or 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 if not, we've probably, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we we've probably outnumbered them at this point. No, I, I don't yeah. know, man. I, I mean. You got to think about the social determinants of, you know, fucking, I don't know, your socioeconomic class. You know, unfortunately, a lot of the lower socioeconomic class, at least in our area of California, are minorities. Because, you know, you're talking about like for as you know, for brown people, it's like first, second generation Americans. You know, Mm. you're starting from the bottom. You're starting from cleaning that toilet. And then your kid is starting from cleaning that toilet. Maybe they'll graduate from high school. And then maybe their kids will go to college, you know, maybe, hopefully. But, you know, you come at poverty. Poverty does two things. You know, poverty uh, grows uh, uh, fucking what you call it. Uh, it, it. It grows. Uh, it, it, it grows like violent gang uh, disproportionately. I'm drunk. Leave me alone. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we we. We still clump ourselves into certain communities or whatever. Like we have brown neighborhoods, Asian neighborhoods, white neighborhoods. You know, well, like, that's a lot. Be- but that's but, a lot because of like you know a redlining that was ba- done back in the fifties, man. I'm just saying, at a certain point, we're gonna like everybody's gonna fucking mix together. You know, like we're already getting there, but it's slowly happening. Like we're coming becoming a bigger melting pot here. You know. I mean, I, I, I agree with that, but I mean, as far as like, uh, you know, some of our policies and shit like that need to go back. They do, man. The thing is we need to, we need to also like speak up for ourselves and be like, Hey, you know, like this shit isn't working for me. You know, like a lot of parents at the schools, right. They won't speak up. They won't say shit, you know, because they don't talk to their fucking kids. They don't say like, 
you know, hey, you know, how's it going? You know, and 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 kids don't share back like, well, nobody's getting in trouble. You know, it's dude, it's like if if it's a workplace, right? Like if you were to go to a workplace and people are getting away with shit all the time, and you're like doing things the right way all the time, at some point you're just gonna be like, well, fuck this, I'm gonna do things all fucked up too, you know? Like, so so, how many like people have you killed as a nurse because other nurses are killing people? <laughs> All of them. I knew it. All of them. <laughs> and you started off as a good one. I was. And then I was just like, you know what? I, I guess I'm just going to go the complete opposite now. 180. Now you're like <laughs> that fucking Filipino that almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to listen to the other episodes. Uh, oh, Jesus. I think I spoke about that last time. So, y'all yeah. know. But, I mean, what you were saying, like, goes back to what, what kind of like, you know, maybe it's a little bit conspiratorial but like okay you're letting these kids like you're you're using the guise of like oh no we're disproportionately targeting minority kids and like consequences aren't really working out so now we're just gonna have a free-for-all and talk about our feelings and obviously it's not gonna fucking work in ghetto ass places like we grew up i think he's saying we're not gonna talk about our feelings or whatever like we can't communicate these days or whatever like the kids today but what i'm saying is like their, their disciplinary action, the institution's mm-hmm. disciplinary action, or lack thereof, I should say. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously it's not working. It's not working, but they they they're going headstrong with it. This they're not they're not uh, adjusting their plan. They're not implementing the plan, seeing how it's affecting the population, and then adjusting it from there. No, they're just like, here's the plan. We're gonna go fucking steam full full speed ahead. Yeah. And is it nefarious? Do they want us to be? you know take steps back as a society do they want your kid to just you know grow up without rules and not succeed and fail i I don't know i'd have to question that oh you're getting into some deep state matrix stuff now and remember i'm a liberal i know not really well i was gonna say you don't want to say that in front of potter yeah potter if you had if you had people that followed you otherwise known as potter's Potter's people. people Potter's people. What, what would what would a Potter's person say about this topic? Just give us an example. Just one. What would Potter's people be thinking about? What, what would old Gary about, say? All right, fr- fr- phrase it to him as a question, an actual question, Fabian. Go ahead. What uh, would old Gary uh, say about this? <laughs> am I the only? Am I the only one thinking <laughs> no, we need to get Gary and no. him on a podcast together? If he's not dead, we gotta try. <laughs> oh my god, you need to fucking track down Gary, dude. If you can get Tommy Chong, you can get Gary. Yeah. Gary's probably not hard to find. There's a number in that video. Yeah, Gary probably is hard to find. He's probably fucking handing handing off BJs in the back of a No, he's lot. he's fucking Gary's probably dead, dude. Like that looked like a VHS. He's like the he's probably like the my pillow guy now. <laughs> Didn't he become the sit and sleep guy? Uh, you, no, you, the, now you're gonna get free, right? gonna get sued now for that. I love it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you even did the catchphrase. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> it, it, it was originally you're killing me, Gary, because he was literally <laughs> killing, killing me. And now and, they, and now they switched it out for Larry because Larry was less racist. But oh man, the story that. he had to distance himself. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you think these people are really gonna be fooled by one letter? Larry and Gary, yeah, you you don't know how stupid these people are. It's all right, we'll, we'll sell it. Don't worry. To pay, no to pay. To pay, no to pay. Larry, Gary. <laughs> but speaking of the My Pillow guy, have uh, you guys heard any of his crazy shit? That My Pillow guy. No. no. What did he do? I did. I did hear so he was caught up in some shit. Yeah, I just don't was, remember what it was. Oh man, some of the videos where they're like making fun of him are so good too. Like he was on Kimmel. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Um, they're making fun of him with with uh. Uh, that Daily Show guy that goes on the field, Kel- Kepler, Kepler, I don't know his name. Um, but the My Pillow guy, he, well, Potter probably knows all about him, so he could probably tell me a little more. Um, but he was like saying that you know the, the you know the whole uh, election denier thing, and uh, saying that the the election was a fraud and the Dominion machines, blah blah blah, something was wrong with them. He got sued. I think they beat him too for like. I don't know, like uh, millions or even probably over, or like a billion dollars. Right? I don't know if he was a billionaire, but they sued the shit out of him. Right. And they, I believe they won. And so they're collecting. Um, but <laughs> he was gonna, he was supposed to have like this bombshell fucking 
uh, uh, news and proof that um, Russia hacked our election or something like that on behalf of, of Biden. Um, and it was supposed to be like the most sophisticated, like uh, fucking, uh, I don't know, some kind of computer program or some shit. And they couldn't get it online, right? People paid uh, to be at this dinner and shit like that. And it was an embarrassment. You got to look it up. I, I, I'm not doing it justice. But the guy's fucking crazy, man. Like he, the, if, if you listen to him talk, you're like, fuck. He's got to still be on the on the crack cocaine because apparently before he was a a pillow salesman, he was a drug addict, like real bad, <laughs> right? Oh shit, yeah, <laughs> like real bad, and you can tell that shit affected his brain. Um, but you gotta you gotta look that up on YouTube and uh, watch the Jimmy Kimmel thing and and the, uh, the it's it's bad, man. That guy that guy's uh, lost his fucking mind. Uh, he he might be he another gets- candidate for Potter's people, but go ahead, Potter's people. I, I I second that notion. I think I'm gonna have to make like a hoodie or something, like a Potter's People hoodie. What kind of hood are you? I can do it. About, I, a white pointy can. hood. A whoa, white pointy hood. Is that what you're talking about. <laughs> We're also gonna sh- uh, sell polo shirts um, and tiki torches. Mon- monogram polo shirts. Potter's Khaki, People. Khaki pants. <laughs> Red hats. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiny and, orange hats. And the tiny hunting hat. Tiny hunting hats. Tiny hunt. Oh, man, I love that video. I see it like every week and I get <laughs> off every single time. Uh, Dude, did you like the story of that, though? The, the origin right there was Whitey's weed gets us in trouble. Good. In the, in the video, in the, in the little cartoon, right? Whitey throws his, his little joint in the fucking uh, in the forest, uh, in the lake. Uh, what's the name of the of Jason Voorhees Lake? Uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, Camp, Camp Crystal, Crystal, Lake. Crystal Lake. Camp, Camp Crystal Lake. Camp Crystal Lake. And he burns the motherfucker down. You he know this is this after, motherfucker down. This is after uh, we fell out of the truck. I believe uh, you know Sosa was driving because he wasn't in the back of the truck. It was Potter, myself, wow. and Whitey in the back of the truck. And so Sosa crashed the truck, and I fell out, and I got hurt. Uh, Whitey wanted to blow the fire out. You can see in the video if you pay attention. He's trying to blow the fire out, <laughs> right? And then uh, Potter drives us to your your hospital, sir. And then you get abducted by Jason Voorhees, right? Some bullshit. Whitey's in the bed all passed out. You know, I'm standing up on a stretcher, and Potter goes to the forest to go kill uh, Jason Voorhees, but he can't do it. He misses. He just kills a bunch of birds and doves and an eagle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, hey, did he get a hoot and quail? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, there comes the the you know the rising action scene where Sosa escapes from the swing, the singing, uh, the swinging sex cage, right in the lake. Oh, Jesus! And he dives out and eventually makes his way over to, um, I don't know, it has to be like a fucking, uh, I would say what like a like a like an air force base or something, and he rides a bomb all the way down to Camp Crystal Lake, and he explodes it. And we thought we'd killed uh, Jason Voorhees, only to find out at the end that he still lives after our ticker tape parade where we were thug lifing. <laughs> the thug life was the best. Uh, and then Whitey throws his goddamn joint again. Setting us up for a, fucking Christ, Whitey. Setting us up for a sequel. I Hell left yeah. it open-ended. Hell yeah. We are cartoons now, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I would love to make make a cartoon, you know, like those little bit mojis that uh, put together. Yeah, like those are really perfect for like doing like quick animation. Like I made that video on my phone. Right? On your phone? I made it on my phone. Yeah, God, I don't have God software damn. on my computer. I made it on my phone, so it's really, uh, like it's really cool. Like manipulating all these images on my phone. Like I have another app where I I I do the art and I and I put the like the the bodies and the faces together. And then on my phone, I'm able to like move them a little bit, add music and sound effects and all that shit, and it's really cool. Like, I was like, I, I was like, man, I should come up with a little uh, fucking crazy cartoon in there where we uh, play the, the the personalities that we have on this podcast, where we really exaggerate it. Sorry, Potter, I'm already thinking of some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're gonna push it to the limit. I really want to see limit. these cartoons. I really but do. I, but I will have some you know some mercy potter if you give me a good a, a good catchphrase for your character oh god 
Fucking boy. I'm on the you. spot right now, man. You're on the spot, man. Go back, uh, go back to your country, maybe? <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I, I can't think of anything like that. Fucking baby, man. Why would you I put mean, me on like that? Well, because I wanted to hear you say something like silly, like fire in the hole or like, you know, something like that. You know, because you have your toting guns in, in your car. Oh, my God. These, these are all fucking t-shirt and hoodie ideas. Listen, if you guys give Fabian enough feedback, I will fucking produce a, a Potter's People hoodie and <laughs> raffle it off to, to one of you guys. You can even print out little uh, Potter uh, Bitmoji uh, characters on your, your 3D printer. <laughs> I could do lots of stuff. Yeah, I do all kinds of printing. Or we can make this happen. Just give Fabian feedback. Potter's People. Uh, Potter, did you enjoy seeing your animated self with an AR-15? Yeah, it was comical. Did you, did you like pop at that, like, all, uh, like really, like get excited and jump up and say, like, that's my gun. Do you have an AR-15, Potter? Sure. Dude, you live in Texas. Like, I'm sure they handed one to you as soon as you crossed the border. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I was about it. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, one. I, I was going to say, you didn't get one, like, with your Happy Meal at the Whataburger? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking gross. Hey, how many X's are you drinking now? X's am I drinking? What? Two, do, you, do you drink two or three X moonshine? <laughs> the higher the X, the higher the fucking... I have not had any, any, any moonshine yet. <laughs> have you had that shit beer Lone Star? Lone Star. No, I've been mostly drinking Shiner beer. Shiner's fucking amazing. Have you been to McMainerberry? <laughs> no, but I think I, I passed through Wichita Falls. Hmm. That well, was on the on the way in from from here. I was like, it is real. It's yeah, not just the, King of the Hill. But like King of the Hill, like Arlen isn't real though, right? It's supposed to be like Arlington. But they're they're. I think we talked about last time, right? They're they're bringing it back, right? They're bringing back King of the Hill. Dude, I can't wait. Yeah, that's gonna I be can't good. Wait. I just hope they don't fuck it up. Honestly, I don't <laughs> think they're bringing back a few characters because of like politically correctness. Like uh, who? Well, I uh, don't think Cotton's they're bringing dead. back. Yeah, I don't. Uh, the Con, Con Supernusophone. He was Cotton's voice. Yeah, well, because it's like the Simpsons, man. They fucking they they changed all the voices and stuff, right? Like, yeah, and for no reason. Like, I I, I think they like uh, they had a new episode of the Simpsons, and you know, again, like I understand being you know uh, giving other people a shot and things like that, but like they finally focused on the, the on the character Carl, the black guy. Yeah. Like. Mm-hmm. And, and and usually he says like three words. Like, what's the point of changing his voice, right? So what if it's a white guy just you with the normal voice and, and it voices him? You know what I'm saying? Actors like, can't act anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like a, vo- yeah. a good voice actor, you know, you'd be able to put on the different voices and now it's seen as like offensive or a- appropriation or something like that. You know, that's weird. To, that's like somebody getting pissed off at a comedy show or something, you know, like Dude. if you don't like what they are saying or whatever, just leave. Okay. Look, if you want to retroactively go back and say like all that shit was wrong, then all the TV you watched growing up. And even as recently as like something like breaking bad, right? <laughs> even so this, this blew my mind because I'm like, no fucking way. All right. Did you, breaking you guys, bad? You guys watch they breaking bad, breaking right? Bad? You guys watch Breaking Bad, right? Oh yeah, yes, of course. All right, you know, you know Salamanca in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God, no. He's not Mexican. He's not Hispanic. <laughs> He's Jewish. That's right. I saw him <laughs> in something else. I saw him in some other shit. I don't know if it was the X Files or you something. Know what? I'm like. <laughs> He's walking around, <laughs> dancing, you know. But you know what? He's a great actor. You would never question that. Okay, yeah. but in our new world, he shouldn't have been playing a, a Mexican guy. But you know what? I thought you were going to take it a step further. I thought you were going to say, like, oh, uh, he's abled body playing a disabled. Mm-hmm. And so. That's double yeah. whammy. Yeah. Exactly. We, we need to cancel his ass, dude. Definitely. Like, reactively cancel him and then green screen everything and put in a uh, seriously uh non abled bodied dude you want to uh, do the, the Salamanca voice you're you're Hispanic you can you're Mexican you can do it he's just gonna sound like you it pretty much yeah <laughs> he's gonna say it in that voice right you're gonna use that voice you're not even gonna have to put on a voice you're just gonna be like oh I'm Mexican can I can I voice him over that's pretty much it I'm gonna start every line with I'm Mexican Walter uh-huh. White you need to cook meth that's it sold yeah so like Where's where do you enemy? draw the line you know what I'm saying like that blew my mind that he wasn't Mexican because he's a great fucking actor. Yeah, right? dude. But you know I what I'm saying? I would have never like, questioned it. 
But why should we have to? It's TV. It's make believe. It's fake. You know. Mm hmm. Yep. I think I heard some people were upset with the actors that they chose to use for for Avatar. Did you hear that or no? They weren't really blue. They're not, I, <laughs> I don't fucking know, but it's like they're like they're supposed to be aliens and like. <laughs> To pick the song, like <laughs> they didn't use real aliens. About, you're just yeah. using white actors to depict these blue aliens. It's like, well, I'm gonna put my avatar back on because you mentioned Avatar, and I'm gonna go back to being sexy Fabian right there. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> I look like I'm weird, about man. to. Look like I'm about to open up some fucking, you know, sangria. Put on a, a heavy accent, play some Spanish guitar, and be like, "So, do you want to fuck?" <laughs> look at that look at that face right there look <laughs> oh man I, I really wish that y'all would ha- would have had avatars we could have made this a video podcast because that would have been even funnier now i wanted to bring up another cancel thing real quick and this one i was listening to some some you know podcasts reading some things on the internet and, like, and i didn't know about this either right um because i don't really give a shit about sports or basketball or anything like that and apparently, um, you know, the basketball player, Carl Malone. <laughs> yeah. Carl Malone. Mm-hmm. Apparently, people were upset that he was like at like the All-Star game or some shit like that, right? Do you know why? Why? Because apparently, like, uh, when he was 20 years old, he impregnated a 13-year-old. Yeah, I could see how that would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How Wait, old is he now? Fuck? Um, I don't know. I think he's got to be what in his fifties or sixties. Let me see. Uh, I don't give a shit how the old male he is now. Let's go back to the whole twenty-year-old impregnating the thirteen-year-old. That's what he did when he was twenty years old. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Right now he he's fifty-nine. He's fifty-nine. Well, you're close with sixty. So let's say forty you know, years let, later. So let's say yeah, forty years ago. Right. He did this forty years ago. Now. This is really bad. So, like, I want your guys' take on it, right? Do people have a right being upset that he was, like, out in the public eye at the All-Star game and, you know, being invited and, 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 and I guess, honored in a way because, you know, he played basketball, right? Um, is that a problem, given what, what we know about him now? Uh, I'll open up with, I don't give a shit how good you are with playing with whatever balls or whatever or acting or be whatever, fill in the blank. Once a pedo, always a pedo, and you could get fucked. Yeah. Goddamn chomos. Mm-hmm. What about the rest of y'all? I feel the exact same way. I mean, you can't, yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> there's there's too many situations like this now or whatever where, like, shit's been going on for all these years, and everybody just kind of let it go by. Like the Cosby situation. Uh, all right, I'm going to defend Cosby. Go ahead. No, I want to hear you Whoa. defend Cosby. I, let's get into that. Yeah. No, no, no. Let, <laughs> no <this> way better. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they, they didn't Look, have to drink that water, okay? They didn't have to. That's no. that's part of my argument. But also, you know, I watched the the documentary of the ones of the the people that accused them that you know they're telling their side of the story and things like that. Right now, it, this might be racially charged. But the majority of them are white women, right? That most of them are talking about, like, he promised he was going to advance my career. And so I understand. Look, I in no way, shape, or form support, you know, fucking sexual assault or anything like that. If anything, you know, we as guys have been very careful, even just growing up, the, you know, now, you know, so it's like you, you can't even say certain things or try to, to you know, like, uh, even if you're like dating or whatever, you can't, you know, ask certain people out a certain way anymore. Everything's kind of considered creepy or anything like that, right? Whatever. I don't support sexual assault or, or anything like that, right? But for some of these people, it's more than 50 years later, right? Never said a peep until like 50, 60 years later, right? And, you know, the ones that were in the documentary that were saying, this is my side of the story, right? They said, I willingly went, you know, to his hotel room or, you know, backstage, right? Some of them went as far to say as like, oh, I know what Quaaludes are. I took Quaaludes. And that was like his drug of choice, Quaaludes, which is like 
you take it to, to essentially, you know, get bombed and passed out and shit like that, right? So there was one that said, like, oh, I knew what qu- quaaludes were, and I took them anyway kind of thing, right? And then after, you know, whatever happened happened, they were still coming back to, you know, to his hotel room after that, right? They still came, uh, came back and, you know, try to advance their careers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I know it affects people differently, you know, assault and things like that. But why the hell would you go back, you know, if that was really that big of a deal? Um, I, I just think it was weird that there were 60, like over 60 stories like that. You know, like it wasn't just one person. It was like 60 freaking people came forward. I, I'm not going to defend the fact that I don't like I'm not going to say, oh, he didn't do anything. Right. There was no doubt some some fucking, you know, fishy shit going on there. Right. But I'm saying some of them. I'm going to defend some where where they willingly took the drug that they knew, you know, what was going to happen. Um I don't know. I'm having a hard time buying some of that shit. You know, like that. The I, I think some t- uh, for some of them it's just kind of a cash in. And the the pro- the part that bothers me is that we just gotta really indiscriminately be like, okay, I believe all survivors. Everything they say is valid. You know, like no, I like to weigh you know different sides of the story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well. Yeah. It- that's that's crazy, dude. Uh, I guess in in your defense, uh, the Cosby situation, uh, it did happen too fucking quick or whatever. Like everybody just came forward all of a sudden, you know. I I didn't understand that either. Like uh, like how did that happen? Did one person come forward and then like that person hired a lawyer and then tracked down all these? Well, people? How how did they track down all these people? Like I don't understand how that investigation started. I wish we knew more about that. Well, who was the attorney? The one, one of these uh, fucking what I call like the celebrity attorneys, right? Who is 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 always like trying to get the limelight. Gloria Aldrich, she was the attorney for like half of them or more. Yeah, and she's one of these people that's always in the limelight. And you mean to tell me that she, you know, didn't try to like you know rally the troops kind of thing, like? You know, you know. Oh, are you a victim? Are you a victim? You know, and, mm-hmm. and then kind of st- started to maybe spin a story for all of them. Yeah, if you got a a, a podium like that, and you're saying like, "Hey, who wants to come forward?" <laughs> that's uh, that's weird. Yeah, it was like back in the day when any celebrity uh, of certain uh, hue, shall we say, uh, yeah. got in trouble, they they would want to hire Johnny Cochran, right? So, like, the women's go-to is, like, G- Gloria Aldred. Right. Yeah. Fuck you guys. I hope you all take a, 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 a Cosby Colada. <laughs> your silence speaks volumes. I don't care if you got your judging eyes. Uh, Potter, Potter just doesn't want to be another Potter's person now. now we, we gave it to him really thick at the beginning of this episode. I mean, I feel bad for Potter now. Uh, I know. Potter finally expressed his feelings that he doesn't like it. Potter does make good points once in a while. I'll give him that. No, Potter brings up good topics. I enjoy talking to Potter. Potter, pr- please bring up a topic so we could get away from <laughs> rapey <laughs> vibes here. Jesus Christ. Hey, I, you you I, want I, to talk I, about I, the last night's sex message? Who you <laughs> the, Z, the Z cups. Oh, the Z cups. <laughs> I, I want to see that search history, Potter. Like, go, let me let me see the Google search. I have uh, I have never Googled searched this person before in my life. I've just seen him on instagram okay Maybe. isn't uh, okay i don't have instagram okay but you don't you have to like look somebody up on instagram because every time i i go to somebody's like like tour page or something like that they're always like oh check out my instagram and it goes specifically to so that page sometimes people will share a story that comes from like a celebrity or some random page and you'll see the story and be like oh that's funny let me share this so that's why Potter's been sending me all that smut and uh, <laughs> um, questionable race relations stuff. Have you ever opened You've one never of these said, messages and somebody stuff? Oh no, I I I'm laughing my ass off. Okay, does, it, does anybody so, ever watch you look at these messages? By the way, yeah, sometimes. So and then I'm like, sorry, it was Potter. Oh man, uh, you're, getting me in tr- you're, you're getting me in trouble, Potter. I'm gonna stop looking at my phone <laughs> in public. But you can keep uh, sending them, though, because, uh, you know, we need to laugh every now and then. <laughs> That's what I thought, Fabian. That's what I thought. 
Uh, no, just like uh, like the Daily Wires is is one that I follow, and they'll they'll post something like this in in, in some way, shape, or form. They're like, I think like the original post about this person was um, transgender individual at like Canadian high school is walking around with size Z cup size breasts while on campus, and it's like it's just ridiculous looking it's like er, nobody's focusing on anything <laughs> else other than this individual just walking around and um there was a news article uh. that i sent these guys last night and uh in it i guess uh, a couple of this person's um uh, local neighbors are like yeah you can't miss them when they're walking down the street even from like a mile away you just see like, these these giant breasts so all these perverts are all pissed off Can you imagine, like, when we were in school, if we had a teacher that, a male teacher that walked in with gigantic prosthetic Z Z breasts? Can you imagine that? These things look. No, I can't. Look look bigger than, like, a large watermelon each. And, like. Mr. Arkin riding in his bike in those shorts. Like. (laughs) Why he uh, caught a fucking nutsack every now and then uh, peeking through those shorts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mr. Goodyear but, not wearing underwear. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh shit. How many, how, many, uh, how many times did you get the, the, the foot up on the desk? <laughs> Who, me? The power stance? Yeah, the power yeah, the stance. Power stance where you put one of his, I, one of I his never head. had him as a teacher, but I was like, I always heard stories oh, like that dude doesn't. I, I, I didn't say anything about him being a teacher. I said, how many times did he put his foot up on your desk? Didn't have to be your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that dude was a trip, though, man. Like, I thought he was like a sissy, you know, like just looking at him, the way he dressed and everything. He, he looked like, you know, very like. I don't know. How do, I, how do I like very tight pants, long hair? I'm, and it turns out though he was kind of a man's man. You know, he was like all into football and shit like that, and lifting weights and all that. Like he would, you know, he would, I, I, he would lift weights every morning, um, in in the weight room at the at the school. Oh, for reals? Yeah, I, I remember one time I had to run in my locker to get a, uh, something. Uh, it was like a wrestling day or something, so I, I had to get something out of my locker. And then I saw him in the in the fucking cage in there doing like uh fucking leg presses and shit. <laughs> the weird part is he was naked. No, I'm just kidding. All right, uh, you were hanging out with the teachers <laughs> in the cage. Uh, I mean, somebody were had they, to. Were they wearing leather by any chance? Right, what was going on in this cage, Fabian? And why were you the only kid in there? I was playing '80s power music and shit like that. I found it appealing, you know. <laughs> uh, like a rocky, like a rocky montage. Oh. Oh, what was is the reason you haven't t- spoken about this before is because they gagged you? Was he playing the one the one eye of the tiger? There was a gag <laughs> order. Yeah, <laughs> what? gag order. Yeah. I, I, I I vowed to keep it, you know, uh, private. But he's probably dead now. I don't know. Jesus, this is Potter's chance to pile on you for gaslighting him earlier, and it's just not, you know, he's happening. missing all of this. He really is. I'm just enjoying this. This is just hilarious to see listen to you guys talk. We're we're lining it up for you, Potter. Right? I'm yeah, you can't get to, clear. Than this. this is put this is fucking T ball here, man, and you're missing. He doesn't have it in him. Potter has. I, has... I was I was trying to remember uh, the song you saying blaring, blaring '80s music. I was gonna say uh, they, Judas Priest, fucking... ram it down. Okay, that's like picking <laughs> up a wiffle bat, but I'll take it. I guess. <laughs> Potter doesn't have it in him. He's got the heart of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> just picture nice him guy. they're hunting and he's holding up the heart of winnie the pooh that's uh, that's hey, true. <laughs> you guys are hunting in the hundred acre wood i, I didn't uh, say he's not a vicious motherfucker that's true too so while you're not hunting that, right while you're not bugging old man while you're hunting uh, old men <laughs> harassing to, old men yeah trying to steal their, kills, their quails right stealing their nuggets <laughs> what, what did he accuse you of like stealing his quails or something uh well one of the last times we went hunting uh or two huntings ago i don't know some some asshole was like pissed off that we were too close to him and Mm -hmm. next thing you know as we were taking off to leave all of a sudden um 
uh, fish and game officers roll up on us and just like empty it, empty everything you got. What do you got here? What's in the cooler? Did you guys get into birds? What kind of birds? Because uh, it's, it's a pretty big deal if you get caught with the wrong bird. Yeah. Technically poaching. Yeah. And then this last hunting trip we went on, I remember I, I shot at this bird that was coming in from my right, going towards my left, and some dude that was like 30 yards away to my left, like, so you're just going to take my bird that I shot? And I'm like, the fuck, man? I was coming all the way from over there. How, how'd you even shoot it? And he just like walked away. I think uh, I think a farmer drove by after after that motherfucker left. He's like, "You're not <laughs> shooting in the trees, are you?" I'm like, no, we're not shooting in the trees. We're shooting out out into the empty field at the birds. I see a pattern of like Potter fucking with people on his hunting trips. <laughs> like he's just going around fucking with people while they're hunting. <laughs> is that true, Sosa? Is that true? Oh yeah, very much so. He's a wild one. <laughs> Uh, you got to keep one eye on the birds and one eye on Potter. Just don't let him pull a Cheney on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only if he, if he ever gives you antlers and says run, <laughs> you got to defend yourself, man. Somebody got Dick Cheneyed on one of our hunting trips. I won't say who or how. Oh, man. Was it? Was it? Well, like, how know, can you not say who and how or whatever? Like, I, I just want to know if it was Potter's fault. No. Please say it was Potter's fault. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was Potter's fault. But you're not, not going to say it was Potter's fault. Right? I'm not going to say it was Potter's <laughs> fault. Dude. All right, sometimes maybe it doesn't have to be his fault, but like he was an accomplice too. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? I was all the way by the fucking truck about to load up <laughs> and this shit went down. All right. So. Okay, Potter, but you need to explain the shit. You don't have to give names, but tell us <laughs> the shit. You can give fake names if you want. I don't care. Yeah, what, what's your recollection of the event? We're, we're gonna give, we're gonna give him fake names. We're gonna call him uh, Chastavius and uh, um, Octavius and, 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 and Pubis. <laughs> so, so what did Pubis do? Go ahead. I played the fifth. <laughs> I want to hear how Pubis was shooting people in the back. Go ahead. So 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 wants to talk about this story. He's the one fucking brought it up. He can talk about this story. We all. I'm not giving any names, man. I already, I already gave the piece that I was supposed to give. Somebody almost got, well, did get Dick Cheney on one of our fucking uh, trips. All right. Let me just ask this. Somebody got shot. Somebody got shot by, by accident. I'm going to say they got Dick Cheney. Shot is such a strong word. <laughs> Shot is a very strong word. Pe- okay, peppered, when- peppered is is a, is a is a better word term. I I feel because like, it was that? it was somewhere in between peppered and shot. So we're gonna call it Dick Cheney. Because when I hear oh, Dick Jesus. Cheney, it could it could be like a new fucking like molestation technique that I'm aware of by some promos <laughs> that made it up. Somebody that got Cosby or something like that. We we've been talking all over the place. So you got to be very specific. <laughs> No, nobody got Cosby. They got Dick Cheney. <laughs> I'm still going with rape. Go ahead. They ran an oil <laughs> company while being vice president. <laughs> it was a large no. field. <laughs> they manipulated to... somebody in power. <sighs> yeah. Go, go yeah. ahead, Isaac, to the best of your recollection. <laughs> uh, there was a large field, and we all kind of like spread out to try to flush out the birds. That would they they pop out from the tall grass and you know hopefully we'd get them up in the air and an individual was uh extra overzealous and somebody got peppered they again shot. I'd say chained Chain-y? somewhere between sh- maybe not shot but it definitely was a lot stronger than a pepper hmm. so one of the little the the little pellets and shit went through them we we shoot. So it's, it's shotgun, you know, it's got all it's bird shot. It's got bird a whole, shot, bunch of, yeah, it spreads. whole bunch of tiny little BBs. And, you know, I think a BB or two had been extracted. It was definitely lodged a little bit. I think I think if I were to recall, but uh, it's nothing. 
call an ambulance or a doctor about. We had like three nurses on site too. So well, when you bury, bird when shots, that's supposed to be that strong. Cause uh, you know, you don't want the bird blown to bits. You want to eat the damn thing. Yeah. It wasn't like they got like the whole, the whole fucking shell, the shotgun shell. They, they got, got a like, piece of it. Yeah. They got, they got like the ends of it. If you were to look at like a shotgun pattern on like paper and you like, you look like to the Man, far should, left or the far right, we should go right? shooting. There's again. just like five thing, little BBs right there out of like a hundred. So yeah. Whitey, I'm not going shooting any, with anybody. Whitey. Cause at this point, Potter's going to be like, Oh yeah. Motherfuckers try to make fun of me again on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we heard it earlier. He's already writing the manifesto. I'm at the top of his list right now. I exposed, you know, his biases. I have no biases, sir. Thank now you you're going to have to, like, redeem yourself by becoming his henchman or something. <laughs> Do his, maybe you're already doing his evil bidding and we just don't fucking know it because you're so damn clever. It's a goddamn cover, I tell you. <laughs> Are you a Potter's person? Uh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm becoming one, right? <laughs> I might start sending you all some uh, some questionable links as well. Oh, man. I'll never be able to open my phone at work again. We can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want. Oh, man. I that's- remember why I'm off social media now. <laughs> hey, but that's another t-shirt right there, right? Fucking Potter, show me the Google search. All, this, all the heinous shit he's looking up. Make it sound like I'm just online. Like, all right, I want a video of some fat person getting just knocked the fuck out, and I'm not. I'm just well replace on Insta- I'm on Instagram and replace, I'm just watching replace. videos, and people just show like security footages of a of a fight that broke out, like at McDonald's or something like that. Replace fat with black, and then yes, I believe that. <laughs> 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 From the last episode, Potter, how are the blacks doing? By the way. I don't remember from the last episode. What the fuck are you talking about? The blacks. <laughs> you remember you referring to a whole group of people. Never mind. <laughs> it's it's too much. <laughs> it's it's that's enough. We've we've had we've had our fun. Uh, it's 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 past midnight for Potter. Uh, we're 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 ending we're ending this. <laughs> but I want to hear more about the black. <laughs> well, go go back and listen to episode one. Tw- uh, what was it uh, one twenty? <laughs> Oh my God! It's your twelve. What did, we say? what did we say about the? What did I say about the blacks? I don't know. It was like some sort of statistic or something. You're like, oh, and then the blacks, <laughs> and I just started laughing. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because like you just said it so casually. Uh, fuck! I remember only, only thing. Only thing I barely remember talking about is we were talking about like college entrance. And how they might have like lower exam scores versus like Asians, or, and they're being sued. For, the, I love what he was the talking about. Being schooled, the school is being sued for it. I do believe. <laughs> I like when we were talking about autism. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and the, kids, the kids came in the snow. What was it? Two sisters or something? It's like they had something. <laughs> <laughs> they had. They had something. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute! You don't want to see the video he spe- he sent me about a, a, certain, <laughs> what a certain fuck of, of Olympics. I, I think it, I hey, think hey, I do watch this I, video. I fucking make that video, okay? I just I think shared I it. it. The video wasn't. It even, was like, not bad. good. It was not good. Was that the one where I just told you, Potter? God oh, damn it, man! That was people reporting on that people are doing it. It wasn't even like check out this funny thing. It was more like, look at this <laughs> fucked up thing that's happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. So look, it, this it looked, is the it funniest like, podcast to be like ever. <laughs> so somebody was doing, somebody was doing an interview. Okay. And they're like, Hey man, did you know like the special Olympics has like a TikTok page? And they're like, no, I didn't. It's like, dude, the comment sections in there are, are just fucking horrible. They're just attacking these people left and right. And they 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 go through some examples, and yeah, it is. It's it's pretty fucked up how they're uh, attacking these people. 
<sighs> and then did I miss anything, Fabian? No, just the fact that you sent it to me for comic relief. <laughs> 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 I, I think that's the one where I, I finally said, "God damn it, Potter!" <laughs> you took it as comic relief. I took it to you as like, oh, you, you took you took it as a. Uh, Fucking straight up journalism. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Not straight up journalism. Just uh, look what somebody found. Can you believe this shit? So fuck. He up. was he was assessing, he critiquing the veracity of the journalistic <laughs> article that was being explored. He was condemning those people on TikTok. <laughs> keep us right, keep Isaac. Us, you keep us going, Potter. I I I. I I talk shit, but I love it. <laughs> I let you talk shit. You talk shit about me, and it makes you happy. So, yeah. Potter's pity. That made me. You sad. know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, right with Potter on this. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go back to the sexy avatar for a bit, just because I can't gonna, deal with that. You're gonna have to like do something to make up to Potter. <laughs> Isaac, you're right. F- fuck these minorities! <laughs> whoa, well, that's, whoa, whoa, well, now whoa. we know. Well, now we know what the highlight <laughs> clip's gonna be. <laughs> and by minorities, I mean Whitey and Fabian. <laughs> oh man, what is what is Whitey anyways? This is half white Mexican bastard. I don't know what the hell he is. He's a freak. I agree he used with to you, have like this little Isaac. Sh- <laughs> fit in nowhere. What's going uh, on here? Why do you used to have like this whole spiel he did? Like when people ask him what he is, I'm Dutch, Irish, Scottish, uh, fucking German bear, uh, fucking Tinkerbell. Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo. I agree with Isaac. Do you remember Dutch, what that was? Why do you used to tell people you were? Are you like I'm, I'm Dutch, like Irish, Dutch, Cherokee? a Dutch, I- Irish, Native American, a uh, Spaniard, <laughs> Spaniard. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's all in there, dude. He's 23 and. And us or me, <laughs> twenty three yeah, and, okay. and Whitey. <laughs> if we do the twenty three and and me or whatever, like you can claim your whatever is on there, right? Even if you're like a, a tiny percentage, right? I mean, so, I guess I, you should pay to have a twenty three and me done on me. And I want to. I want to do one for all of us on the podcast, and I'm, Potter's finally going to have permission to use it. Dude, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I, I I explained last time. I have permission. I've gotten permission several times. Hey, so, so what are you talking about? How much? We, we, how much percentage of a permission do you have there, Fabian? Well, I mean, it's it's more than like you know. If, if we're look okay. Look in terms of like the breathalyzer test, it's more than that. If you have our, all our DNA tested, it would be hilarious. Maybe not to you guys. If if somebody's relative like got arrested <laughs> because the DNA you provided, like. That's how they got that fucking serial killer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it turns out, like, <laughs> like Potter's uncle. Is like... <laughs> I see exactly where you're going there. <laughs> and Listen, I, what I, what I'm saying is, I, I'm with <laughs> Isaac on this one. Both of you minorities, I, you know, that's it. I can see where he's coming from. Well, that's uh. <laughs> He's not exactly over there shaking his head no, so I mean, I guess I know where we I'm, stand I'm, I'm here. Per- I'm perplexed. What's Fabian's minority? <laughs> you know, well, he, never... he's... Go ahead. I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm still... It's ambiguous, really. It's <laughs> what, ambiguous. What, what do All I know is that I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what do people you think know? you are? Dude, when I was, like, a bouncer and shit, people would come up to me in the stupidest way, right? And they they just stare at me, like, all drunk, like, what are you? I'm like, the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Right? Like, I would hear all kinds of shit. Obviously, you know, they'd be like, "Oh, are you like Polynesian or Samoan or like Hawaiian or something?" I'd hear Filipino. Um, the one that really upset me was Arab. Like, I'm like, no, fuck you. Hey, man, what the fuck? What do you mean Arab? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Um, that one really upset me. Or Middle Eastern, they would say like Middle Eastern. I'm like, fuck, fuck you, buddy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not that ugly, you know. Or, or like, I heard Armenian. Was, uh, check it out. One time, I was working at a club in in Hollywood, 
on on fucking Christmas of all days, right? A bunch of fucking heathens drinking. No, no, no God, nothing, you know, and, and they were there on Christmas um, and there were a bunch of Armenian dudes, right? And they thought I was Armenian for some reason. And um, they had a, a, a VIP and everything. And they're like, hey, bro, you're fucking Armenian, right? I'm like, no, I'm not Armenian. I'm like, no, fuck you. You're Armenian. I'm like, okay, guess I'm Armenian, right? And for, you know, the, what they tipped me that night, every single time they came back to the VIP, another 20, another 20, another 20, I was fucking Armenian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, whatever you, whatever you say, I'll, I'll take it at that point. And I'll let them get away with anything, right? There is no smoking allowed indoors. They fucking smoked up all the cigarettes. They're on the furniture. Their little fucking VIP that should have only had like eight people, had like 20 people. I made my money. I didn't give a shit. I was Armenian. I was happy that night. And that's why one of your go-to karaoke songs is just a gigolo. It is. It, it, that is one of my go-tos. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did that on that, on that fucking stage over at that rig karaoke competition at the, at the casino where they, um, if you, if you weren't um, transitioning or, or at least had top surgery, you didn't move on. And Sosa went to go watch that. I believe I did. I did. I did. It was, Horrible. It was completely biased and rigged from the beginning. Hmm. It's fucking terrible. Now I understand Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and the my pillow guy. I get it. I get it. I, I'm changing my. I'm changing my vote. You know what? I think we're both becoming Potter's people this episode. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys were hitting a lot up. of uh, talking points that were that were very in line with some things I was thinking about. So. Wow. Which hey, are the first Potter's people hoodie? That. It should hey. be Potter dressed as Trump on his podium and a bunch of like kids looking up or whatever, like <laughs> and the world behind him. I don't know. Like we'll figure something out. I'm, I'm gonna go get a Gary's mattress and a my pillow now. Fucking sleep. Okay. Hey, Dude, go. you need to try to contact Gary, I'm telling you. Like it would be the funniest thing in the whole goddamn world <laughs> that make podcast history if you got Gary on here to talk to Potter. I'm going to try. If he's not dead, I'm going to try. Potter needs to be the co-host for that show. Would you co-host that with me, Potter? Yes, I could if you wanted me to. Would I would ask? love that. That would tickle me pink. Even if nobody listened to it ever, Where I would Where did you come up with it. these awesome quote-unquote ideas, Gary? I-, I thought they were pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought it was you funny for ask- all the wrong reasons. Yeah, you could ask Gary about his political views and stuff. That would be fun. And maybe you could tell her, tell him your Potter's view. I mean, I want to drop kick a kitten too. You know, <laughs> it's a bunch of puppy. <laughs> uh, that wouldn't be so bad. I'm changing my vote again. I feel like we got that wrong. I wonder if he did punch a puppy, or what was he punch a kitten, drop kick, punch a puppy. the kitten, kick the puppy, or something. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Was he was a punching and kicking a lot of shit in that fucking commercial. I'm just saying. Yeah, a lot of costumes. Yeah, guy's a fucking renaissance man. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Gary hates everyone. <laughs> I think that was the point. Uh, I think that was. Uh, the point. All right. Well, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it with everyone. <laughs> let's, let's wrap this shit up. Any other uh, for the for the world? Any other little nuggets y'all want to throw out there for the world? Last words. Uh, no, just contact uh, contact Fabian in those DMs for some Potter's people merch. Yes, yep. make them, you make them some stickers or something first off, Whitey. I mean, if if enough people to a T-shirt, if if enough people give him feedback, I'll come up with something to raffle off or something. Being that this is shit show I, the thirteenth and the final one, you guys have any final words? The he, final listen. one. He's axing us after <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, if I can get. Celebrities instead of you all, I'm dumping you immediately. I mean, that's, that's fair. I mean, look, look at us. Whitey looks like a pale fucking. Uh, I don't even know. It's disgusting. Uh, El- Elmer's glue. I could <laughs> dress up like Larry Hankin for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird thing to say, Whitey. <laughs> Potter, you got any closers? Any closing words there? I'm just, I'm just trying to picture what, what might. The next shit show be shit show the fourteenth the fu- for real this is the final one. <laughs> or maybe we'll. I mean, it's good. Shit show the fifteenth, the end of the shit show part two. 
just going to keep going just like all the, the Friday the 13th and Halloween movies. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I thought of a perfect one. What you got? And this is going to maybe upset Potter. The 14th Amendment. Mm. You all know what the 14th Amendment is? What is? <laughs> did, did it give people the right to vote? No, it's something that I benefited from. Me being an anchor baby. Ah. Uh, the fact that I was born here and I am a citizen. Oh, nice. Yeah, he, he, Potter's still pissed off about that one. You want to take my anchor away, Potter? No. All right. You can stay. You okay. keep it. Keep your anchor. All right. Uh, I, I, well, I'm not going to give it up. You know? Let me get some more mentions in that manifesto, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's just brandishing a gun over there. I know you all can't see it on video, right? We don't have video for this one, but Pro- Potter is brandishing a weapon right now. <laughs> oh, that, that's not nice, Potter. Put that away. Why do you put that away too? God damn it. <laughs> I've already seen that one too many times. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think the, the, the word shit show has ever been more appropriate than now so i'm just gonna <laughs> terminate this broadcast um may god help all of you right um so i don't know if i should thank you you all for being here but for everybody listening at home i appreciate it thank you fuck you and good night Podcasts on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Like, follow, and share on Facebook and Instagram at Ignorance of Strength Podcast and on Twitter at The Ignorance Pod.